Now joined in studio by the uh, Nyamira uh, Senator Kennedy Mongare. Actually, he probably wants me to introduce him as presidential aspirant, as he tells me he's still in pursuit of that. But the conversation is more on what the members of parliament have been pushing for. The legislators, at least, have asked that they get eight months of their salaries due. Of course, for months that they wouldn't have worked, but part of their five-year term that will be cut short if Kenya goes to the elections on August 8th, as is scheduled at the moment. Well, there was a petition uh, to this end by Dismas Wambola, a lawyer, and of course the High Court stopped the Treasury Parliamentary Service Commission, Salaries and Remuneration <coughs> Commission, and the Attorney General from approving payment of extra money to MPs after August 8th. And I'm quoting this from as an article that is on the Daily Nation. You can link up on there just to see the, uh, the rest of the article. Uh, that is nation.co.ke. And partly, uh, Mr. Wambola said, payments to MPs for no work done shall violate the principle of remuneration being equal to the value of the work done. They are pushing for payments to be made in the next few days. So, uh, Buona Mongare, what's your response to this particular one? You're asking for money, at least legislators are asking for money for work not done. First of all, uh, Kenyans have failed to understand the dynamics. One, we've been led down by the CRC Commission. You remember four years ago, I was the first member of parliament who said that parliamentarians should be given allowances, not salaries. I said I don't want a salary increment. What I need as a novice of senator is allowances to do my work, which I consider part of social work. Okay. Secondly, there was a ruling of 2013, which really concluded on the matter of the August date election. That ruling, I think, is going to inform the case in court. Secondly, then there, there are matters of contract, which we speak to. If you talk about a contract, it will have to interpret for how long you are supposed to be working. That ruling of the ICO... But if your services are terminated... No, that's what I'm saying. That ruling, which said that the August date is final and nobody appealed to it, other than my clamor for the last 11 months, 15 months, to change the date of election to allow Kenya organize itself. But isn't properly. this water under the bridge because we are going to the elections? We are going to the elections. Right. That's why I'm saying that that argument that we need monies for ourselves is immoral. Right. It's like committing sin. Considering the, the environments we are in, we've been mandated by Kenyans. We've been given an opportunity to serve them. We need to say thank you very much and we ask for an extra term. All right. So, so you're, for you're, me, you don't support, I, would, I you don't say support it's this immoral. Move. It's immoral, considering what I'm looking at the country. It's immoral for any member of parliament. To, there's a gratuity, which is there in law, that if you serve five years, there's a small token called a gratuity, which is sufficient. Right. These are the payments for work not done, to me, is immoral and it's sin. Would you, agree, would you agree that it would set a bad precedent if indeed they get their way and now other uh, representatives, MCAs and governors will also ask for the remainder of their term at least? Uh, for, for, for the MCAs, their tenure is clear in the, con in the, in the constitution. It lapses every on March. The claim for MCAs can be credible right. because the constitution gives them a clear mandate for members of National Assembly, members of Senate, the President and the Deputy, the is a lot of ambiguity which says our services end on August 8th. Right. So I, I, I believe that members of parliament should sympathize with Kenyans. And why should they be worried to get more monies and they are, we are going for an election? What they are telling Kenyans is that maybe they are telling Kenyans to send everybody home. They root from Kenyans and I hope by August everybody in that National Assembly and in the Senate who will propagate his interest for this kind of immoral request for allowances of work not done is, is moral. And I, 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 I think the courts need to really give a proper perspective into making a ruling on this. It is a little wonder that uh, the citizenry, at least the voters, don't think so honorably of their members of parliament when they make such requests. Uh, in the meantime, doctors and other you know, public servants are asking for pay for work that they've done, and that is not being fought for as much as this is being fought for. Mark, you've been around in the media for a long time, and you see what happens. How many members of parliament have spoken about nurses, I mean, doctors' interests? Which is a constitutional right. The members of parliament 
I have sworn oath of office to defend and protect the constitution, especially in terms of right to life, which is really a factor. We've lost so many Kenyans. I live around the famine we are seeing around. We've lost so many Kenyans in debt through lack of medical care, which is even entrenching the Bill of Rights. Right. So these members of parliament who are running that they are going to all hostage the treasury in not approving a budget by virtue of the they require this increment is immoral and it's absurd right yeah and, and you uh, earlier as we were uh, beginning this conversation you were very much against the date that is august 8th uh, as the election date uh, in your view are we going to be ready i spoke for the last 15 months i've been speaking that we are not ready for the preparedness of the legal infrastructure on going with this aspect. but you just said clearly it's what under the breach yes we're walking to a tunnel of death all right. I have spoken for the last 15 months saying that the change of election couldn't have affected anybody, nobody could have been given an extra job, but we could have had sufficient time to prepare the legal framework, the legal infrastructure. Now you see, you've seen some people coming around and giving so many other conditions, which is going to bring a lot of uh, turbulence in directions. But we are, I'm, ask, I'm asking Kenyans to pray because prayers are supersede so, our self-interest. Speaking of prayer, and I'm not even uh, in any way trying to give uh, any momentum to your campaign, but you do say that you want to be uh, the president, uh, at least you are running for that office. Uh, is this a case of shooting for the sun to hope to land on the moon as senator? No, 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 no. I'm a very serious candidate. I'm the best option for Kenya in, in running for presidency. Right. My training, I want to train in parliament to run for a big office. Mm -hmm. My training is done, and uh, I, at the appropriate time, I'll be issuing my uh, statements of intent and explain to Kenyans why I need to, I'm the best option for Kenya. All right, well, we'll be waiting out for that. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Senator Mongari, for your thoughts. Of course, you say that this request by MPs to have their pay at least for the eight months uh, that they won't be in office if we go to elections on August is immoral. It's immoral. Thank you for your position on that. And